we're focused on not just like a nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium type mentality and a little bit of calcium. We're looking at 90 essential nutrients that the human body needs. Right. Well, and so when I ask, when I'm training people athletically, uh, teaching a seminar or doing asymmetrical self-defense courses, uh, teaching people about not only physical self-defense, but also, you know, keeping their families healthy and and all of these things, mitigating uh, what could be coming is that it's it's important for people to understand where did those 90 essential nutrients we're told we're supposed to have, where did they, where's that supposed to come from? It's not supposed to come from a bottle on a supermarket shelf. It's supposed to come from the soil and into the plants and into the animals, whether we're eating the plants or the animals. So that's the transfer right. of true vitality in life. That's the way the food chain is supposed to work, right? So so let's say I'm a gardener, I'm a farmer, and I get soil savers, and I do everything you advise. What is the economics in terms of my result? I spend money to do the treatment, but then my yield improves. We have seen, yeah, we've, we've, I've even had friends that got yelled at by their wives because the garden got too big. The, the, the cucumber plants growing up the backside of the house and 10 foot tall tomato plants, seven foot tall pepper plants that are loaded with, you know, they look like Christmas tree ornaments all over them. You know, they're so Yeah, loaded. I used to have a squash plant like that. It, it went over a six foot fence down and then shot 20 feet into the compost pit. It knew where the nutrition was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so that's, you know, that's the ideal. I mean, just our garden up in North Dakota last spring I had planted it, and then Will and I, Doc Will Spencer and I, went on the road for about a month, and I got back, and the tomato plants, the garden hadn't grown since I left, and I knew what that was. I didn't treat the soil before I left. I expected it to carry over some, my own problem, uh, and also the massive numbers of people who have, you know, who are gardening experts who are saying, wait a minute, my heirloom plants are not growing because of the heavy metals in the environment and, mm -hmm. and running into these and problems. And the spray. Yes, the spray. 100%, 100%. And so right. uh, we mixed up a couple horse troughs of, uh, uh, because we have a very large garden, um, uh, of our foliar spray and treated the garden and the tomato plants, everything exploded. And we were pulling, I mean, we had... Um, what, just from one picking at a time, um, over a thousand tomatoes from only, wow. I think there were 12, 12 to 14 plants, I think, in the garden. And we had well over a thousand tomatoes just from one harvest of tomatoes. We didn't know what to do with all of them. We were canning, we were canning tomatoes for ever. 